All right. Unfortunately, it is the third time. This is, I wouldn't say failing, but uh, doing very unwell. And uh, the situation is pretty much similar to last time's. Um, let's connect it to my battery tester. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. I do rather trust the diagnostics on this. So I have no reason to suspect that it's reading wrong voltages, right? So all the imbalance that we'll be seeing is actually real. So yeah, let's quickly connect to it. So yeah, situation is not super great. We're seeing that bank nine and bank um, seven. Right, nine and seven are not doing super fine. So it's going uphill meh, about seven, 800 watts. And obviously this immediately plummeted with the neighboring banks being well above, like well above, well being around about half, right? And a lot of them are around about half. So yeah, these two seven and nine are not doing super well. Uh, what I did last time was just simply recharging the offending banks. I'll check my video and see which one it was. I think it was bank nine as well. So it might just be that really some cells are more tired than others, but I don't know. The way this develops is a bit suspicious, right? It's not super, I don't know. It's not super indicative of dying cells. It, it, it might be the battery management system actually cutting their charge off prematurely. I don't know what to say. Let's move on with the teardown and we'll go from there. <clears throat> And so now if we use this for reference, we might actually go over all the banks again and uh, check the accuracy of the internal readings. Okay, so let's start. This should be three point. So again, we're, we're reading cell zero and this should be 3.716. So let's see. Yeah, close enough. You okay. Okay, so these are not chill, so let's just write this on here, Jan. Twenty three low. Then we have another good one, and then this is also low. And yeah, as we can see, I have already revived this in August, so half a year ago. And so, yeah, this is. Yeah, I don't know. Something not super okay with these, but again, it is such a pain in the ass to open these up that I don't know. Uh, if it if it takes half a year, I don't know. That's the thing, right? They might actually all be dying because I've written this super, super hard. This is running a custom firmware, so the cells are under a lot more pressure than they would usually be might again might be something about this chip right this is an over voltage protection chip which is separate and this is not present on the cheaper batteries on the 10s 3p batteries that are found in the um, 1s or me scooter 3 those have three cells in parallel these have four and they also have these two cells with these two chips for over for over for over voltage and i suspect that this is acting up right I wonder what happens if you eliminate it completely 
but um, I'm a bit too afraid to do that right now. And uh, yeah. All right, so what I think I'll do, and that will be a lot nicer, is actually to discharge all of these down to, let's say, 2.5 or 2 volts or something super aggressive. Uh, we'll discharge them with the load, and that'll have a self-cutout, so it's uh, going to be a lot more comfortable than what I've done previously. And um, yeah, then we'll just see how much is left after a full discharge, right? Out of a full right individual discharge so that will be the amount of capacity that we are wasting now because of these two unhealthy banks then we'll charge them via the actual charge port and see if everything goes to plan but yeah so this is going to take a few days i'll um uh, future daria will come to narrate the rest until then have fun Alright, so a full charge cycle is now complete and the final voltages are pretty good, right? Our deviation of 45 millivolts is eh, on the high-ish side, but it's still well within uh, reason. Highest and lowest are 4 and 5, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 was swapped, so this is the freshest and it's uh, got the lowest capacity, okay? So being the healthiest, this will take the most current to get to the same voltage as the other ones, but that's not too far behind. Again, these voltages won't tell us much because if some are unhealthy, the BMS will have done its best to equalize everything during the charge. Uh, and so to actually find out the state of all of these, I'll um, again run the electronic load because as I said before, right, I can sink more current than I can provide into these cells. And with lithium ion being pretty much 100% efficient, you can measure the capacity by charging them from zero to 100, seeing how much goes in or discharging them from full to completely flat. And uh, they will give the same results. Unlike, for example, uh, nickel metal hydride or similar technologies, nickel cadmium, whatever, lead, anyway. And so, yeah, basically, we'll uh, continue running the time lapse and, uh, yeah, see how much we can uh, take out of them in the second round. And if they're all equal, I will be happy enough to ride this for another half a year until I again have to reopen it. And probably by then, hopefully, I'll be richer and I'll just buy. 12 18650s and just swap out banks but yeah that's pretty much it for the moment i'll see you in the next cutscene All right, so now that the discharge cycles are complete, uh, keep in mind I've done this with the balancing disconnected. Uh, if this is alive, it might actually feed stuff back into your cells and do some balancing during the discharge. So I've disconnected everything, and as you've seen from the time lapse, we've discharged all of these independently down to 2.2 volts, right? So very aggressively, all of them have recovered. Uh, this is the last one and I stopped discharging it a few hours ago and it's going back up to It'll step to around 3.1 3 volts. That's where most of these have settled um, and It was noted that uh, the two banks six and eight which were Falling heavily behind have been found to have somewhat of a lower capacity in the case of this one but bank six 
had no problem and this uh, bank 8 was found to be discharged again before so this has spent a lot more of its life at a lower voltage than the rest of them so it might have just aged by having sat uh, for about one year right significantly below right so lithium ion cells if you leave them at three volts for longer in storage so to say uh, they will degrade faster so i might explain that from this but from these results i'd say that these do not require replacing and that the fault might still lie in the bms but the fact that this fault is now spreading is something to take note and the fact that it's so hard to replace these might actually lead me to yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find another BMS board and perhaps next time I'll just replace this. It might actually be the overcharged chips, as I've said previously. I have no idea what is causing this, but it was first this that lagged behind, then this, and now these two, right? So the fault seems to be moving around and affecting random cells, random banks. Uh, that being said, I've ch I've uh, computed the milliamp hours left totally, and if you div if you multiply them by three point seven volts, which the pack says its nominal voltage is, you will get three hundred forty five watt hours. On the pack, right, it says that it's supposed to have four hundred and seventy four. That will give us a life kind of of seventy three percent. However. I do think this figure is a bit a bit higher because this 474 at 3.7 volts is not really what the BMS strategy is working at. So a an average voltage of 3.7 would in, would imply a, a top up voltage of 4.2. This only charges up to 4.1, so it's leaving out about 10% of the capacity, perhaps even less. So the math is a bit vague. I would expect this figure to be somewhat higher, nearing 80%, which is where I would expect this to be at in two years of usage, of heavy usage. But yeah, that being said, it's it's still ample capacity. I'm, yeah, I'm super happy with um, 350 watt hours. And yeah, that being said, I'll uh, perhaps most likely see you in the next installment of this series. Uh, when I'll again be opening this battery pack and uh, we'll see where we go from there. But at the moment, just simple rebalancing, manual external rebalancing, plus this checkup, which I've done here, seems to indicate that yeah, at least the cells are fine, that no one cell is dying or is exhibiting some weird behavior because it would have surely been noticeable here, which it isn't, right? All of these are very close to one another. So yeah, that being said, if you have any similar problems or if, you've, if you know the issue and know a fix, let me know in the comments. And yeah, have a good one.